To begin the repair process, for a Model 350 and 3 quarter to 1 inch sizes, first you will close the inlet and outlet shutoff valves. Next you will open the number 2, number 3, and number 4 test cocks to release the pressure from the valve. Unscrew the four bolts that hold down the black check housing. Insert a flathead screwdriver on the small notches on either side of the bronze body and pry up on the housing to loosen it. You will lift the housing out of the bronze body. Remove the checks from the housing by pushing on the check visible at the small end of the housing using your thumb or the handle of a small screwdriver. Caution: The checks are spring-loaded. Locate the small notch between the check seat and spring retainer on each check. Twist the flathead screwdriver in this notch to unsnap the two check halves. Inspect the rubber on the poppet for any cuts or debris. You will want to inspect the sharp edge of the seat with your finger for any damage. If the seat is damaged, replace the entire check assembly. If the poppet is damaged, replace with a new poppet. You will repeat this process with the second check assembly. Place new O-rings on the seats of each check assembly if needed and lubricate these O-rings. Wipe clean and inspect the inside of the housing. Slide the number one check flat side first into the check housing. Slide the number two check with the cone-shaped inlet into the housing. Push until both checks are completely inside the housing. You will want to clean the O-rings at the ends of the housing and replace if necessary. Insert the two O-rings into the grooves in the housing. Lubricate the face of the housing O-rings. Make sure that you have the housing facing the correct flow direction and place it down into the body. You will push down with a rocking motion until the housing is down flush against the bronze body. As you push down on the housing, be careful that the O-rings do not extrude out of their grooves or become pinched by the upper edge of the body. After the housing is seated properly, insert the four bolts. Do not over-tighten these bolts. Valve should be tested by trained personnel to confirm that it is working properly. Next, you will close your test cocks. Open your number one ball valve slowly to pressurize the valve and inspect for any leaks. Open your number two ball valve a small amount and wait for the system to pressurize. You can fully open ball valve once your system is pressurized.